What is up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing good today. For myself, it's a beautiful one. Can't complain all too much, except for the fact that I actually have to pay some money today. So yes, that's what this video is. It's how the heck do I pay some of the locations? If you guys are new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Drake Pfizer with DSF Financial, showing like-minded individuals like yourself, the ATM business and how I'm making my money work for me through passive income. So yes, today, fortunately, I'm doing some ATM stuff. Unfortunately though, I do have to pay some people. Here beside me, I have a couple envelopes with some checks and, uh, and some statements that I do hand out to locations. Uh, that way they can actually see how many transactions we got through the quarter and then how, how much money they should get. I try and be as honest and as upfront as I can with my statements that I give which allows the locations to actually trust me. Like I've mentioned in other videos, I do try and pay on a quarterly basis. This allows me time to do the invoices, do the payments, but also it kind of allows me to save and hold on to that money uh, for a couple months so I can utilize that money. Now for this ATM here that I'm filling up, it is a dual ATM contract that we have or agreement. Uh, it is for two laundromats and we are paying uh, close to $2,600, $2,700 for the quarter. Uh, so yeah, it kind of adds up a little bit and it stings a little bit as well, but you gotta pay it. With that check that I'm writing and paying, it is the price of doing business. Just like with any other business, like I've mentioned before, there is a cost to do business. And unfortunately, paying the location some money so we can put that ATM in there, to me, is worth it. Now with this location or double location that we're paying, we pay the location 75 cents a transaction. Uh, so you can kind of judge or calculate how many transactions we did over the quarter. Now we do charge 350 for the transaction. That money that we pay to the location, in my opinion, is well worth the investment. Now when I drop this check off, I'm gonna chit chat with the owner, try and see if they have any other locations uh, they could actually give me for an ATM. Uh, because if I'm doing good business, other locations are going to want somebody that does good business as well. And that may land me a contract. It's happened before. Word of mouth really is a good thing. So I'm going to drop this check off here real quick. Oh, by the way, I'm also filling ATMs while I'm doing it. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, he wasn't there, but I did drop it off with the front desk lady uh, who kind of runs the laundromat for him. I also followed up with a message to him, uh, letting him know that the check is in the office. And, uh, and it's a pleasure doing business with him over the past couple of years. And uh, also, if he needs anything, please don't hesitate to ask. You always wanna be available for your customers. And yes, even though he does own the laundromat, he's our customer as well. So we gotta make sure to take care of him. So now, so now I'm actually on my way to go fill up a couple more ATMs and drop off one more check. Uh, but then when I get home, I'll actually show you guys kind of the template that I use to calculate how much we are paying the locations. And at the end of the video, I may give you a little hint on how you guys can get it as well. So stay tuned. All right, so I am back from filling those ATMs as well as dropping off a couple of checks. I actually did that yesterday, so 24 hours later. I was able to talk to uh, one of the owners of the laundromats and he was actually uh, very appreciative of the check. And unfortunately, he does not have any new leads for us. He's gonna keep an eye out. Now, I also ended up paying one of the hotel owners or tried to pay him. I went ahead, I cut him a check, but he actually wanted uh, to be paid via cash. I'm gonna go ahead and appease that for him and I'll make sure to bring that cash to him the next time I go fill the ATM, which he is okay with. Now, along with paying these locations, you also have to know how or how much you're gonna be paying them. So that's what I actually am gonna be showing you guys right now. I do some printouts here. Uh, let me just cover up the info here of the locations. And uh, it actually tells me exactly to the cent how much I'm gonna be paying them. And I actually do have it broken down in an Excel uh, spreadsheet, which I'm more than happy to give to you, just ask. So what I'm gonna show you here is one of my locations on the computer. Shout out to my friend, Seth. Uh, he actually used to work for me at one of the hotels and he actually is really good with computers and built me a computer uh, for under 500 bucks. So shout out to you, Seth, appreciate it. 
So along with uh, this spreadsheet, let me show you guys exactly what it entails. So it's essentially a simple spreadsheet, uh, which easily calculates my, uh, my amounts that I'm going to be paying them. For this location here, I'm going to be paying 50 cents per transaction. And on 6-1 of 22, looks like we got one actual withdrawal. Uh, I don't, I try not to include any inquiries or anything. I just want to show the actual withdrawals for the location. And I do have it broken down here by date. And then at the very bottom here or on the sides here, it does say the total per day that they're getting. And then down at the bottom, I have the payment. Now this down here, now this actually isn't too bad of a payment. Uh, luckily, uh, sometimes they do get a little bit more, especially if we're paying, you know, a dollar, a dollar 25. Uh, it does add up, but with those locations, we do make it up in the surcharge. A couple of my locations are actually set at $4.99 and I do cut in uh, $2 to the location. So even though we're essentially making $2.99, it is a very good location and this is how I calculate how much I pay them. Now, now along with uh, doing these equations, you definitely have to be careful. You don't mistype. So of course, after I'm finished with the equations, I go through and double check. Just like you're proofreading something, I'm double checking the calculations. Sometimes my fingers get a little happy and start typing different numbers or uh, dots or periods or whatever you want to call them into the equations and they can really mess them up. So I try my best to double check. Like I mentioned in the past too, some locations do prefer a certain type of method of payment, uh, MOP. Just like the hotel that I mentioned, he decided he wanted to take cash, which I'm totally happy to do so. I do have other locations that prefer to be paid through Zelle or a cash app and Venmo, which now in today's uh, political climate, I don't like because the tax man's gonna be checking up on me a lot more. But if I can appease the location, I definitely am gonna try to do so. Now with this statement, I'm 100% willing to uh, pass that on to you guys. If you can do me one favor as well, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification for me. Shoot me a comment down below with your email and I'll be more than happy to send that to you guys, okay? Also, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer those. Like I always say, enjoy that day, but keep grinding, keep hustling every day, just like it's Monday. Till next time, guys. Later.